Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here doing another exciting episode of Bearcat's Reviews, and today I'm going to continue my reviews of the G.I. Joe Classified Series Wave 1 figures with uh, Figure 2, um, Snake Eyes, which is one of my favorite Joes. Uh, he's always been my favorite. I've always had two top favorites. It was always Snake Eyes and Beachhead. I loved all the Joes. Those two were my top favorites, which is why I'm so determined to hopefully find a Target exclusive Beachhead somewhere. One of these targets. I will not give up until I find one. Moving along here, we got Snake Eyes here in the box. And so, as you can see here, we got this nice art picture of Snake Eyes here at the bottom. G.I. Joe Classified Series Snake Eyes Hasbro is what it says on the front. On this side, more of the nice art shots of Snake Eyes here. And Timber, his, lucky, his trusty wolf here. Still wish we had Tim. I still wish it would have come with Timber or the the deluxe version that I'm hoping to get one day. I really wish that one would have come with Timmer, but oh well. I'm still trying to find a wolf that will work in scale with this, so let me know if you guys comment below and let me know if you know a good in scale wolf to go with Snake Eyes here. On the back here, just like the last one, we got this nice product shot of the G.I. Joe line, which looks really cool still. And then on the side, like Roadblock, we've got a little re up here of what they are, of what his skill set is. And I did write it down this time <laughs> to make sure I got it all right. So that, the, it goes from level 1 to 4, the little triangles around the side are marking, these are all marking as level 4, so he has the highest skill in these four ranges. Uh, the top one is Covert Ops, the next one is Bladed Weapons, the next one is Stealth, and then the last one is Ninjutsu. So the skull is the Covert Ops, the sword is the Bladed Weapons, the eye is with the slash through is Stealth, and the Ninjutsu is the one with the uh, Ninja Head and Ninja Star at the bottom. So, and then as for the top, not much more, except for saying number two on the bottom, not much more there. So, let's get to it and open up Snake Eyes. And moving right along here, we got Snake Eyes out of the box. And I gotta say, I love this figure. Loved it. It's a great representation of Snake Eyes, in my opinion. So, as you can see here, though, taking a closer look at him, we see he's got the classic visor. He's got these little markings on his head, a little red dot there. Um, there's also some red dots around here. You see the sword with the Arashikai logo, which I love. And this is the classic sword I saw in the comic books, which I thought was amazing. Uh, the look and style of it. You see the Arashikai logo here on the belt. We got the grenades here. And then the Arashikai logo up here, too. And we got a little sheath here with a silencer and his pistol. It's a little laser pistol. Uh, we got sheath here with the knife. And I will say for the knife, I've noticed a lot of people saying this, and mine was the same way. It does not hold, the knife doesn't go all the way in completely, like it'll stop like right here, which was irksome. So some people have just cut the tip off from what I've been told, and that will get it all the way in. But for me, I opened it up a little bit and hauled it out some, so then that way I still had the look on the side. It looks like the sheath's complete, and then knife can go all the way in. So, uh, also from what I've heard about these, uh, from this, what I have to say about this, is I love this figure. But I love the looks of the uh, exclusive one a little more, just because it has the classic silver visor, but the black works too. And all black makes sense being Snake Eyes. And to continue on, we'll go with his accessories. So first we have, here we have, is it laser? The laser Uzi, I want to say, the laser version of the classic Uzi Snake Eyes always has. And then we have the backpack here. So how the backpack would work is you can take off the sword. I prefer the sword only you know, with the backpack, but you can do that. And you can peg it through the, his uh, little ammo strap, but it always comes up like this, which I don't like. So I like to peg it not through the ammo strap and just keep it down more. But what you can do is you take it, peg it through here. But I'm showing you all these because it, it's your you get your figure, you display it how you want to display it. But I'll, I'll just say how I like to display it too. Uh, then there's a little peg hole here where you can peg in his sword. And then once that's pegged in, as you can see, you can have them like this. And then lastly, machine gun, the little machine gun here, machine gun, machine laser, I guess is the term, uh, has a little hole so you can peg stuff onto it or you can peg it in a peg so you can peg it into other places. But this has, a, it fits nicely into his hand here, like so. So as you can see, works well. And it's not my favorite, but I like this more than his pistol personally because which I'm moving along to the accessory. Let me just pull off the backpack, pull the sword off. Sometimes having that backpack gets in the way when you're holding it. Oh, now I can't. <laughs> now I'm having problems pegging it. All right, there we go. 
So then we'll take out his knife here actually first and we'll show the knife. So as you can see, it's got this nice kukri kind of look to the knife, but I love it. It's a very nice design. I really enjoy this. Got these nice serrations on it. All in all, it looks amazing. There's the knife back in its sheath. And then lastly, we got the pistol for accessories, which it's not my favorite just because of how wonky it looks. I mean, with that hole there, it looks really weird to me. But, and then the silencer, in the exclusive version, he came with a realistic pistol and machine gun that you could put the silencer on. So, uh, you can't do it to the machine gun, but you can do it to the laser pistol, which you can, there, put the silencer on that. So that's also part of the thing that irks me a little bit, but, because Dukes and the others looks real, but not so much here with snakes, but as you can see there's that so I'll take that out but like you, I said you display it how you want I personally have taken some of my weapons from my Marvel Legends that are more realistic and used them with him but again they aren't terrible these guns I just not a big fan of them so but there you have his accessories and so now we'll move on to whoop, stay stay buddy there we go. And now we'll move on to his articulation. Alright, so for articulation wise, Snake Eyes has got a pretty decent amount of articulation. So the wrist it moves up and down, which is the same on both wrists. Both both arms, I will say, is the same articulation. Um, double jointed elbows, which, there we go. As you can see, more than 90 degree bend. Uh, arm swivel here at the bicep, I guess bicep swivel I mean. Uh, shoulders move up and down. And there is a butterfly joint to move forward, but mine on this arm is a little stuck, but this one works a little bit better. Uh, there's a ball joint at the base of the neck and at the top of the head, so it can has lots of articulation for the head. Uh, and also a little hinge joint so you can look up that far and look down that far. Um, he has a little ab crunch here, so you can crunch forward that much. Crunch back that far. Pretty big crunch. Um, ball joint here at the base of the waist, so as you can see, you can do a little side to side tilt and swivel around here. Uh, hips can go up and down like this, and then you can kick forward that much, kick back not much because of the, how he is. Thigh swivel, double jointed knees. Oh, there we go. Uh, boot rotation, and his ankles do have ankle pivot, and they move up and down. So, that is all for Snake Eyes articulation, so let's get him standing here we'll move on to the size comparisons come on there we go all right and now we'll move on to size comparisons so here taking a look at snake eyes as we can see he is standing at just above six inches tall almost a little under six and a half inches so for our size comparisons we're gonna do here is snake eyes next to last Yesterday's review, Ramjet and Dirge 2-pack. So you can see how they scale together. Snake Eyes next to his wave mate, wave figure one, Roadblock. Who with that minigun still does not like to stand. So I'll just hold it like this. And you can see how they scale together. Snake Eyes next to some others. I have a lot of mini Snake Eyes figures, but I've only picked out two for this. So here is Snake Eyes next to the G.I. Joe Renegades Amazon exclusive Snake Eyes. It will not stand if I let go, so I'm going to hold them here. So you can see how they get scale together. And then Snake Eyes next to the G.I. Joe Resolute Snake Eyes, or City Strike Snake Eyes, whichever you like to call them. So you can see how they scale together. Then until he falls down. I knew, I'm like, oh, he's going to stand. And then as soon as I let go, I knew he was going to fall down. See nope. <laughs> ah, you are going to fight me till the end, aren't you, little guy? There we go. So you can see how they scale together. And then because I have it, which he, this one will also be a future review. And because he is a uh, fellow, a, can be assassin with a dog, with a canine cohort. Here is Snake Eyes next to the Mafex. John Wick from John Wick Chapter 2. See so yeah, how they scale together. And last but not least, here is 
Snake Eyes next to, for basic six scale comparison, here he is next to the Star Wars Black Series Captain Rex figure. So you can see how they scale together. And here is Snake Eyes in an action-packed pose with his sword and pistol out. I gotta say, I really love this figure. I'm so happy to get a six-inch scale Snake Eyes finally. Um, it makes me really happy seeing this guy and having this guy. So, I gotta say, I'm really excited with this Joe line. I highly recommend the G.I. Joes, because the G.I. Joe Classified Series line, because they have been amazing so far. And I can't wait to show you guys the next one. Um, I will be taking pictures, when you guys see my pictures at the end, he will have his laser guns and there will be some with more realistic weapons since I've seen people do both and I've enjoyed trying out with both. Um, and one of the guns, if you recognize it, it will be like a little hint into what tomorrow's review is going to be. But I want to thank you guys again for watching my video. Uh, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, and share to others so they can have some joy from the video too hopefully um i'd like to thank you all again for watching this video and for all your support you guys give me um and making these reviews possible so i'd like to thank you all again uh like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys for tomorrow's episode of bearcat reviews